Are you familiar with henna? It is a way to naturally dye your hair. This method originated in India. It's now used in India, Pakistan, and the Middle East. The henna plant creates a red color in the hair that is permanent. It cannot be lifted, it doesn't come out. So it's kind of an intensive process, but really worth it once you get used to how to do it. So I thought I would show you the process of getting black, which is a mixture of the henna plant and indigo. Together they can make black. You wanna make sure that you get your henna from a reputable source uh, and that it's not mixed with metals and um, basically lots of fillers. So this Ancient Sunrise one I recommend and you can find it on Amazon at this link. First we're gonna take the powder, put it in a container. This is, has a very earthy kind of matcha smell to it. You can add to that, they send an acidic powder to go with it. A lot of people, if they just get the powder and not the kit, will do like a lemon juice. You need something acidic to help it adhere to the hair. Then we want some water. And the instructions for this don't specify warm water, but Montana does, so I went ahead and heated up the water. And we're gonna mix it with enough to make a consistency um, like frosting. You can save um, extra powder in the freezer for quite a long time. I'm going to cover this and let it sit for eight hours. That is how long it takes to be ready to put on the hair. Okay, now I am going to spread this goop all over my hair. Be careful, this will stain your skin potentially for weeks. This is the same stuff that is Mendy at Hindu and Muslim weddings. cover this with a plastic bag to keep it from getting all over the place and also um, to trap heat in there which helps open up hair cuticle. You want to leave this on for at least four hours but I will be sleeping in it and leaving it on overnight and then rinsing it off in the morning. It's the next morning and it is time to rinse all this gunk off of my hair. And I will be using a lot of conditioner after I rinse it. No shampoo this time, but a lot of conditioner because henna can be drying. Okay, you can see where my roots are now red. This is the natural color of henna. And sometimes I do just leave it this way. Uh, in the past I have, but this time I'm going to do indigo over the top to get black. So later today I will be mixing up the indigo and that you don't leave to sit forever. That you just put on right away. And now the indigo. And now we put the indigo over the henna. plastic bag and that stays on for three to four hours. Something else very important, don't ever buy anything called black henna. It is mixed with chemicals and preservatives that can be very damaging to the skin. It is not safe, do not use it. You always want to buy your henna from a reputable source and to get black you are going to need henna and indigo separately. Definitely never buy a product that says it can get you any color other than red and being a pure henna. So I recommend this brand Ancient Sunrise that you can get on Amazon from this link. Here is the final result. Um, so yeah. 
henna to the red and then indigo over the top and we have a pretty good black but it's a lot of work <laughs> 